We are tracking breaking news out of the NBA. Anthony Davis will miss at least the next four weeks with a sprained MCL. Davis suffered the injury during the team's loss to the Timberwolves on Friday night. He's already missed two of the team's past four games with a separate knee issue. The Lakers currently sit in sixth place in the Western Conference, heading into Sunday's matchup with the Chicago Bulls. For more on the Davis news, we say hello to the coach, Avery Johnson. Uh, coach, thank you for taking the time here. The Lakers having to add some injury to the insult. They'll now be without AD for the next month plus. Before we get to the Davis specific side of things here, we're talking about essentially a 500 basketball team struggling to scrape together wins, score the basketball. Uh, they lose their second leading scorer for an extended amount of time now. What does this mean for the Lakers as a team moving forward? Well, as a team, it's going to be an uphill climb because they've already been, you know, wildly inconsistent this year, especially in third quarters. Uh, they're one of the lowest ranking teams in scoring and point differential in the third quarter in the NBA. So moving forward, this is going to have a tremendous uh, effect on their team. Uh, LeBron James has to play more minutes. Some of their older players, Rondo, Carmelo, Anthony, when they thought their minutes be spread it out pretty evenly, now those guys got to play more minutes. LeBron James played 43 minutes, you know, in the game at Dallas that they had to beat the Mavericks in overtime without Luka Doncic. Uh, so this is a situation where minute production – from their top players, Westbrook, LeBron, Carmelo is going to be uh, significantly increased to try to make up, especially for the scoring loss of Anthony Davis. And when you talk about a guy like Carmelo Anthony who came into the season without the expectation of having to be one of those starting five, was going to be a bench piece, and then forced into action, and as we saw on Friday night, one of the more productive offensive pieces here with their hand forced now do you see the Lakers making any moves in the coming days to add some offensive firepower to sort of tide them over until that 23 and a half points per game returns in the form of Anthony Davis we saw Isaiah Thomas who looked to be a productive addition on Friday night uh, how do they pivot from this loss from a personnel standpoint well first of all other teams in the NBA are not going to feel sorry for the Lakers and they're not going to do them any favors so the Lakers are not going to necessarily call every NBA team, and the NBA team is going to trade somebody that's going to be a win for the Lakers. I think they're going to have to stand pat. Uh, maybe they can pick up another body, you know, on the 10-day contract if it's available. Uh, but they're going to give Isaiah Thomas an opportunity to continue to play well, 19 points in his debut. They're, they're going to play a lot smaller. And uh, you may even see LeBron James, you know, and Carmelo Anthony on the court uh, at the same time with LeBron playing a little bit of a five and Carmelo playing four or vice versa. Uh, so, you know, Dwight Howard, when he's healthy and ready to go, uh, uh, Harden Tucker. So there, there are a lot of different options. I think the main thing is the Lakers in the backcourt and at the small forward position is not going to be as big because guys like LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony have to shift down a couple of positions uh, to, to make up for – uh, Anthony Davis uh, absence, but I don't see any NBA teams necessarily jumping on the phone trying to help the Lakers roster right now. I think they're going to have to stay in pack for a little while. Yeah, you make a great point there about small ball. We've seen some of that across the NBA this season, uh, namely their opponent here uh, on the weekend in the Chicago Bulls who have played some smaller lineups and seen some success. We'll see if the Lakers can pivot towards that, but Davis specifically here, uh, the future of the Lakers squarely in question with more than a third of the season already in the tank, but it's so the time we start questioning Anthony Davis, his viability as a centerpiece for a team. The talent, it's world-class when he's on the court, but therein lies the problem. He's, again, struggling to maneuver that massive frame without getting dinged up, Coach. Here, Do you have worries long-term about Anthony Davis and his role as a star player in this league? Well, I think, you know, there's always been concern about his durability. That's why we appreciate guys like LeBron James, you know, we appreciate the Michael Jordans of the world because your best ability is availability. And, and unfortunately, Anthony, for a variety of injury ailments, he hasn't always been available. And uh, now he's out for another four weeks or so, and, and, and he's not available. So I, I think his long-term viability is always going to be a little bit of a concern, but you cannot deny this young man's uh, incredible talent. And when he's playing at a high level, uh, and he's playing at a, in a way where he's the best player on the Lakers team as he did when they won the championship uh, two years ago, then 
they're a much better team, especially with LeBron James a little bit up in age. So uh, it remains to be seen, but he just hasn't, unfortunately, been able to stay healthy. Hopefully he'll come back and be healthy uh, uh, sometime after the All-Star break or somewhere around that time so that the Lakers can make a serious run here at the end of the season. Yeah, we know it's a better brand of basketball when the kid from Chicago is on the court, but L.A. will make their way to Chicago without Anthony Davis sidelined for the next month plus. Coach, we thank you for the insight. Thanks. All right, taking a look at the injury history of Anthony Davis. It's been tough. A knee here in 2021. He's already missed three games, now set to miss the next month, which will likely cost him some odd 15, 20 plus games. Did have the calf and Achilles injury last season that cost him, well, right around half of his season. 36 games missed with those issues. Multiple games missed uh, in 2019, 2010 when they won the bubble championship. And he was a large part, as coach said, of that title. It was a finger issue in 2018, 19. Hoping Anthony Davis can get back in short order, but it's a month plus with an MCL sprint.